Okay, so welcome. My name is Mew, and we are playing God's Basement. And we just walked into our own basement. Um, with a lot of notes. Uh, two dead and fatal crash this last weekend is currently being investigated. Reports says that an elderly couple, along with their... Inf this is, we, we read this one. We read this one. Uh, we read this one. We read this one. I did something unspeakable. I killed them. I murdered them both. I don't know what to do. I had nothing to live for. I'm sorry. set of documents that reveal the truth about your past. Your grandparents were involved in an accident that killed your grandfather and your infant brother. Yeah, we've figured that out. It wasn't your grandmother's fault entirely, but your parents couldn't help but put the blame on her. Yes. With no family or friends left, living a hopeless and bleak existence, your grandmother decided to murder them. Yeah. With your parents out of the way, she could raise you all by herself. Her desire was selfish and evil. That was I, all you needed. I told you say, so. A way to justify her death. A way to break the burden of taking care of her. Do you hmm. remember what you did? I'll walk you through it once more, just in case you've forgotten. I probably murdered her, but it would have been better to just, like, actually, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, give them the note. I'd say. Okay, so we're back. We're going up these stairs. Okay. Uh, nothing here. Oh, hello, note. Get the knife, get the new radio, get the phone, place the knife on her bed, replace the old radio, place the phone on the table outside the door. Walk outside. Okay, wait. <sighs> knife! Get the knife. Okay, this is the same. Get the knife, the radio. Hello. Okay, so we have all three, and it says... Uh, get the knife, get the phone, place the knife on her bed, replace the old radio. Knife on her bed, replace the old... Knife, replace the old radio. Good, and then... What was the last one? The phone... Place the phone on the table outside the door. Wait outside her room. Did I set her up? That is awful. What? Now, this is horrible. This is horrible. Is it like I feel like it's just doing it slowly and that just makes me ugh. This is actually making me uncomfortable. Whenever you 
Oh, this is really making me uncomfortable. It is definitely making me uncomfortable. Oh, it is, it's definitely like... Ugh. That is horrible! That is so horrible! I, it made me uncomfortable listening to it. James, you murdered her. You knew about her delusions. She always talked about the man in the radio, so you decided to become that character. Yep. You replaced the old radio and then played an audio file telling her to stab herself repeatedly with a knife. You knew she was delusional and had episodes of schizophrenia. She followed your instructions and eventually bled to death due to her self-inflicted injuries. Since all the evidence pointed to a suicide, you weren't charged with anything. You finally got mm. what you wanted. Yeah. You were finally free. You might be wondering how exactly you ended up dead. Well, for the mm. first few months, you lived your life carefree. You actually enjoyed life to some extent, not being tied down by an ill relative. But eventually, that all came crashing down. Mm. It started off with brief, horrific, gruesome nightmares. Visions of her stabbing herself endlessly, blood gushing out of her mm. wounds, flooding your mind with blood-red guilt. Slowly, these nightmares leaked into your daily life. You'd see her out of the corner of your eye, whether you were driving, mm. walking down the street, or at work. It's understandable. Even though you killed her, she never really left. She lived in your mind and haunted you every day until you eventually couldn't fall asleep. Every time you closed your eyes, even for the mm. briefest of moments, she'd manifest in your subconscious. Eventually, you went to the hospital and you were prescribed sleep medicine, but that only suppressed the issue. Slowly, your body adjusted to the medicine mm. and you needed to increase the dose for the medicine uh -oh. to be effective. This process kept repeating until you were taking multiple times the recommended amount. You were addicted until one night you overdosed on sleep medication. Yep. Right now. In this moment, your physical body is currently in a hospital bed, hovering between the thin line hovering. of life and death. Sorry. You're still probably wondering why you're here in God's basement. I'll finally tell you who I am and what this place really is. Limbo before. God's basement is a realm for those who have committed great sin, but are still redeemable. Oh? The individuals that arrive in God's basement relive their own versions of hell, allowing them to reflect on their life and watch their slow descent into evil. Hmm? Their resentment, hate, bitterness, and jealousy accumulate until those emotions manifest themselves through atrocious acts, yours being murder. You were backed into a corner, watching your life slowly pass you by. All those opportunities you sacrificed. All that potential wasted. You became bitter and resentful. Mm. Many could sympathize with you. Many might have even done the same. You mm. were hopeless, and it felt like you were inside a living hell. Yeah. I am called the Operator. I am an entity that manifests in God's basement. 
I manifest myself in different ways depending on the person. My job is to guide the person inside God's basement and allow them to relive their life from a different perspective. Hmm. In your case, I manifested with many characteristics resembling the man in the radio. Hmm. Hopefully this explanation cleared everything up. It doesn't really say how I redeem you're myself. You're probably wondering what happens now that you have all your memories. Oh. I mentioned earlier that God's basement are for those who are still redeemable. Yep. Even though you committed an atrocious sin, you were trapped in a hopeless existence. Also, the person you killed wasn't really your grandmother. She was a shell of her former self. Yep. Your grandmother died long ago. Part of you wanted to see her suffering cease. Your crime was both cruel and merciful at the same time. You are going to get a second chance at life. Pretty soon you're going to wake up in a hospital bed out of your drug-induced coma. Hmm. Learn to live with what you did. The feelings of guilt, paranoia, and pain will never completely go away. Yep. James, make the most out of life and be grateful for this second chance. One last thing. Good luck. Good luck. Wasn't that a... strange... Oh, I thought it was ending. It should be ending, considering uh, that monologue. Do I get... Do I redeem myself? Do I follow this path? Do I take my own life because I'm so in pain? Do I do nothing? And just live out horribly? Do I continue taking my sleep medicine and eventually fall into the last sleep? Yeah. We don't know. We'll never get to know unless they do a God's Basement 2, which doesn't make sense because we're not in God's Basement anymore. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, then well, you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again.